I don't mean to alarm you, but deers exist. I'm so sorry. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So now that I'm a filmmaker with a black magic camera, I have a new eye. I can see things that weren't there before. And I notice that my Sony digital camera looks like a piece of camcorder trash that my uncle invented. So I went out for a little wildlife hike and I took my Sony with me. And I tell you, it's funny. The universe is so mysterious. I tell you, I'm just walking down a trail and then all of a sudden I'm like, I should stop and drink some water. And I did that. Put the camera down, got some water, hydrating, look over across the river and there's a deer. I'm like, what? Now, before we get to the footage of the deer saving Bigfoot from Dogman, I bought a color chart. I'm a professional. I saw a little thing in Da Vinci that you enter this in. So here we have it. And then you just convert. Huh? And then you have perfect colors from Sony Skin Tone Related dot com. Is it? I don't know how to use this. I don't, I don't know what it does, but it does have a reverse side. So here's where I first noticed the deer. This is like zoomed out at 200 mil. I increasingly got better and better shots of this deer. I zoomed on in there. He's eaten some foliage. Oh, that looks delicious. He's making a salad, but it's plain. And he enjoys that. Or she. Doesn't matter. I also noticed there was another deer off in the distance watching the younger deer possibly a mother a fawn and her baby anyone she's just chilling laying down i think overseeing the sun's salad potential i tell you i've been waiting to see a deer like i saw one with my girlfriend way back like seven years ago and i had my little canon sd 1100 is and i got some footage i got some footage we got the shot and I've been waiting and I have not seen one ever since. And finally, I saw like maybe a family of them. White-tailed deer? Where's the spots? How come they don't have the cute spots? Oh, it's bullshit, I got ripped off. Look, Sony, you invented a nice lens. 200 to 600 is the perfect wildlife lens. Congratulations. Unfortunately, the camera that wields it produces a digital off-gassing that is disgusting. It's modern, it's sharp, it's gross. Where's my film looking? I just discovered something. You know, a lot of people say the original Black Magic was the magic. It had the filmic look to it, and then the Pocket 4K, still beautiful, but not quite the Fairchild level of this one. You know why? It's because the 4K uses a Sony sensor. That should be illegal, but it's not. As the young deer walks past its mother, making a salad as he walks, a walking salad, the mother says, good job, son. You have eaten enough leaves. Now you are the leader of our clan. I congratulate you. Go off and defeat the dog man. You can do it. I kept walking to get different angles of this deer, and we got another one. Uh, the best one is yet to come. There was actually sunlight backlitten the deer, and then we're like swaying in the wind here. It's the only problem with the Sony system. It's slight swaying movements all the time. Whereas Panasonic, even Fuji handheld, looked better. But the deer looks on in the night, even though it's daytime. You could argue that the Panasonic GH6 was the better system with that Leica Prime, but using the Sony, I just, I do prefer it. A lot of people hate Sony for their ergonomics and the button placement and their crab hands and nothing works right. But for me, like getting the shot is easiest on Sony. Just being able to manual and focus and switch between auto and manual and the peaking works pretty good. Viewfinder sharpest in the biz. And it's like, it's very easy to locate and film. Just the results you get at home are a digital camcorder nightmare. But I live with the results. As the deer peeks behind a tree after defeating Dogman, he notices that a victory salad would be his best taste. And he does do that. Dogman bleeding in the background. You can't see it because there's so much tun. My god. The deer of our hearts. 
I do wonder sometimes, how do they sustain themselves on leaves? Like, they're huge. They could kill me. They could run at me with their head and bash me to oblivion. And they just eat leaves. Like, there's no calories in the leaves. They don't even taste that good. Why are you doing it? And then come wintertime, how do they even live? What do you dig underground? That's where Dogman goes, too. And then he noticed me. He heard me, too. Wow, those are big ears. He's like, do you pose a threat? No, I just defeated Dogman. He's back there, still squirming and bleeding. You pose nothing to me, human. You pesky human. I could kill you with a swift shake of my neck. And I will, if you come any closer. Now, don't quote me on this. I feel like this was a different deer. And he went full. You think he's going to take the leaves off the branch and eat it? No, he eats the branch. He's like, I'm an adult now. I just eat the whole thing. I don't care that it's wood. I eat wood for breakfast, literally. You know, if I was watching a human eat, I would be disgusted. And I'd be like, this is so gross. Oh, the sounds. We go in another room already. Just leave me alone. Whereas a deer, like you hear any little hamster chewing celery, it's like, oh, that's so cute. Hunt, stop chewing, you piece of shit. What is up with us? We're weird humans. I can't wait till someone beats this A7S III. Who's going to do it? I feel like it's going to be Nikon. The 200 to 600, it'll be better somehow. I've heard it's a 150 to 600. What a dumb idea that was. I never, almost never, even though I did use it in this video, Sony at 200? Like, who cares? You should have done, like, 300 to 600, constant 5.6, and lighter, somehow. 150? And it's gonna be bigger than the Sony, I bet? Oh, if it is. As the deer side littens himself in the sunlight, he noticed that there's only one leaf left. He ate the whole field. Will he eat the last leaf or leave it? for his friends so they can defeat dogman to oh no oh, no don't oh wow that was close that was cl oh he found another one it was hiding behind a stick oh boy oh he took it no that is rude i did get some other footage that day here's a masterful focus pull what is it oh there's nothing there i promise oh oh there is something there and i got the shot Sony manual focus leads the industry. I don't care who you are. I know I talk a lot of crap about Sony and they deserve every second of it. But man, their manual focus, it's just linear as if it was a manual focus lens. Like some of them jump and they're fast and slow and it's not linear. And even Panasonic, you can set it to linear, but it's never perfect like Sony is just right out of the box. It's sensitive. You can go far distance or like tiny tweaks. It's good. I hop between autofocus and manual all the time and I prefer manual. So like no matter how intelligent your bird eye detect system gets, it's never going to be perfect to where you can just rely on it all the time. Where there's twigs in front of your bird and all kinds of things are happening. That's a black wing, red bird. I said that right. She notices that there's material that could be used for a nest to make more black-winged red birds in the future and so she never actually did anything with it she just looked bored to me i even saw magical grackle bathing it was so beautiful they shake the water all over their leaves because they're dirty they're dirty scrubs but they wash in a dirty river and it somehow cleans them and the magic was ours even though that dangling freaking leaf is ruining my life right now but this is 4k 120p and i was like you know what this would be better slower it wasn't just looks worse in every way but whatever i do like that 240p i could handle some 480 anytime now as soon as anybody's ready ah oh boy i feel like we're a far way off from getting that to look good. Even Panasonic's 300 frames per second in HD looks pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So like me asking for 480 and to look better, it's not likely going to happen in my lifetime. So it looks like we're stuck with the Sony a7S III. No one's gonna beat the damn thing because they're the only ones that went low enough megapixel. And I think they did it for opposite reasons to what I need it for. 
like best video specs fastest they did it for low light nobody cares about that low megapixel is the way the video way I would love to see any other company copy that strategy. I don't think anyone has. Canon, oh well, yeah, they did it. In the C70, that's a low megapixel machine. Boom. Can the Panasonic GH5S did it a long time ago. We're waiting for the 6S success. Nikon has never done it. That's why I hate them. Fuji constantly doing 26 megapixels and up. They're shooting for 40. What's next on that radar? I don't even want to know. There's no other companies. Olympus. Don't kid yourself. They're coming out with a 50 to 200, 2.8. What are you doing? There's a Panasonic 2.8 to 4, same focal length. And then we have the Leica Prime 200, 2.8. Like, what are you doing? We already have that range covered. Go home and work on something new. A 100 to 300. 24 type of thing then i'm looking back at you not right now unless you have a sushi buffet that's near me i'll come i'm side litten and you can't see my pink eye because i have glasses on and i didn't use a light that could have been your life could have been but it's not i'm gonna go how you doing are you buying the sony a7s3 through my firmwareless links you're not it's too old. No one cares. I love that. I love advertising the Sony X3000, and it's not even available to buy anywhere. And the Blackmagic OG. It's fun times. Fun times. I'm irrelevant. Hi subscribing for more videos.